Item. SCP-771. Object Class. Keter. Special Containment Procedure. SCP-771 is to be held in a secure windowless containment cell at all times. Any and all materials entering or exiting the containment area must be scanned for contamination. Containment area must be checked weekly, and any damage done by SCP-771 is to be immediately repaired. No personnel are to enter SCP-771 cell without full body hazmat containment and dangerous object handling. Da. Armor. In the event of attack by SCP-771, all personnel are to immediately evacuate and seal the containment area. Subjects suffering from stings are to be left in the containment area, or recovered for observation when possible. Description. SCP-771 is a form of AI that appears to be constructed out of both organic and mechanical components. The metal components of SCP-771 are of varied origin and composition, with several still unidentified, but many appear to be broken or damaged. Its biological components appear to be extremely decayed, appearing to suffer from some form of degenerative disease or virus, with the mechanical components acting as a form of life support. Due to this impaired state, SCP-771 cannot function properly, and can only function for short periods of time, with many errors and glitches during that time. When SCP-771 undergoes an error or shuts down, a swarm of small robots is released from a hatch within SCP-771. These microbots will swarm over SCP-771, then start to search the surrounding area. The swarm will break down any and all metal in the area, and return it to SCP-771, attempting to patch the damaged areas. These patches appear to be temporary, and typically only last for 3 to 4 days. The swarm will also target any vertebrate animals during their search. Upon contact, the swarm will proceed to sting the subject, injecting a fluid that completely freezes all muscles in the body almost instantly. This fluid reacts only to the skeletal muscles, and allows all organs, including the brain, to function normally. Once frozen, the microbots will move the subject into close proximity to SCP-771, and proceed to cut off portions of tissue. The swarm will bring the tissue back to SCP-771, attaching the pieces to the pre-existing biological components. Once the subject dies typically from blood loss after 2-4 to four days, the microbots cease their harvesting and retreat back into SCP-771. The harvested tissues appear to immediately contract the same degenerative illness as the original tissues, and degenerate to an unusable state after 12 hours, necessitating the retrieval of additional tissues.